What's going on guys? Welcome back to Light Skin Gaming. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to run the nightclub. So if you have just purchased a nightclub or haven't purchased a nightclub and just want to learn about how the nightclub works, this video will help you understand how to run the nightclub effectively and maximize your profits. If you liked the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe as it does help me make more GTA 5 money making methods like this. So the first thing you're going to need to do to get a nightclub is you're going to need to go on your phone, go to the internet, and then go through money and services once you've done that you can go to the maze bank foreclosures and then i suggest you filter the nightclubs so you can see here once you filter the nightclubs you'll be able to see every single nightclub that's in the map they're all down in the city the one nightclub i do not recommend you guys get is the elysian island do not get this nightclub it is the worst place to get a nightclub in grand theft auto 5. if you are to purchase a nightclub get the downtown vinewood nightclub or the west vinewood nightclub these two nightclubs are the best locations in the game in my opinion you can get pretty much any location you choose or please to just do not get that elysian island it is so bad it has a huge bottleneck and it is super far down south so if you ever need to go up north to uh sell that it's very inconvenient so you can see here once you click on the nightclub you can pick the style the light rig the nightclub name but the most important thing is that you get the storage so the first thing you should be purchasing in the nightclub club is the storage and you're gonna need all five levels of storage you can see I have the garages for the nightclub that is not necessary at all you'll automatically get the first garage so you don't need the second and third or the fourth but you do need those storage you can also pick your dancers what type of dancers as well as uh, add dry ice so just make sure that you get the storage I can't stress this enough if you don't have the storage you will not be able to maximize your profits so once you purchase all five levels of the storage you will be able to continue on to the next step so when you enter your nightclub I always recommend you enter through the garage just because it's easier to access as well as I recommend you always select enter nightclub don't go to the basements or anything like that most of the time it's much more convenient to just click enter nightclub through the actual garage just because it's super super we're close to the Omega computer that we're going to be using. So once you reach your computer, it's going to ask you to register as a VIP or a CEO or a motorcycle club president. Um, if you don't know too much about that, you'll have to watch a video on how to become a CEO. I'll link that in the description box below. But once you've registered as a CEO, you'll be able to sit down at the computer here. And this computer is where you access everything to do with the nightclub. And there's the homepage, nightclub management, resident DJ, warehouse management, etc. So the first thing we're going to focus on is the homepage. So the nightclub has two ways to make money, the nightclub itself and the warehouse. So the nightclub popularity is pretty much how popular your nightclub is, and you can increase this by doing jobs. You can see I haven't completed that many jobs, and my nightclub earnings is very low compared to my warehouse earnings. So when you increase your popularity, you will actually accrue money from the actual nightclub portion of the business and you can get this money from the wall safe over here and all you have to do is walk up to the wall safe and press right on the d-pad and will open up when I first got the nightclub I did not know this is where it was I could not find it so hopefully this helps some of you guys find where to collect the money to actually collect the money you have to walk up to it opening it itself does not make you collect the money just like the arcade business so now you can see here you can promote your nightclub you can promote your nightclub in the nightclub management tab and it will send you on a mission by promoting your nightclub your daily income will increase your current clientele will be louder and your safe capacity will start to fill to that 70,000 so it's super important that if you want to run the nightclub business that you promote your nightclub on a consistent basis keeping that daily income as high as possible and collecting your 70,000 every single day now honestly this is not the best way to make money with the nightclub it's actually a complete waste of time in my opinion but some people like doing that and then you have the DJs where you can change the DJ out it will cost you money but this will change the music and um, the people that are actually playing the music in your nightclub as well as when you first change it it will increase your popularity bar so that's super super effective you'll see here again my warehouse sales are very high and I've made over 27 million doing them so the nightclub warehouse actually makes its profits using other businesses that you own so owning this business is not going to be useful unless you own other businesses so South American imports is your coke your cargo and shipments is your cargo and then you have your pharmaceutical research which is your meth and then you have sporting goods which is bunker cash creation which is obviously counterfeit cash organic produce which is weed and then 
printing and copying, which is your document forgery. Your most profitable ones are going to be your South American imports and your cargo and shipments. So it's super important to sell as soon as one of these are full. Now next we'll move on to the warehouse technicians. So warehouse technicians are super, super important in the fact that they have to be assigned to one of these slots um, to actually work. Um, so you'll see I have five out of five technicians and you have to buy each technician. So to run this business effectively, you're going to have to buy every single technician. Um, having five out of five will allow you to have all the five most profitable businesses running. So cash creation and printing and copying are the ones that you will not assign them to. So you can see um, here that the pharmaceutical research is super important and it's super important that you have all five technicians assigned to all the most profitable businesses. The most profitable businesses are actually ordered and left to right on the bars here and you see I haven't even filled my stock. So every time my South American imports and pharmaceutical research fill, I just sell. If you don't have those accruing money, then you're not making the most amount of profit possible. So you don't want those businesses full and not working for you. So sell every time one of them fills so they are out there working for you. I never do the special deliveries as they're not really worth it. It's much, much more efficient to just to sell all goods in total. It's super important that you also purchase the equipment upgrade, which is purchased in the upgrade panel. The equipment upgrade is $1,425,000 to get this upgrade. And this is super, super crucial to maximizing your profits. So definitely pick up this upgrade. It's not 100% necessary, but I highly, highly recommend it so you get the max amount of profits. So you can see here I'm selling all goods and the mission is always done solo. So you can have teammates with you working with you in your motorcycle club, or you can have teammates working with you in your CEO. It doesn't matter because there's only one vehicle. So you'll always be able to sell this business solo and that's what makes it one of my favorite businesses. Now you're not going to make that much profit per hour with all the upgrades. Remember you have to have all these other businesses freehand so this should be one of the last businesses you buy. So this is just the cherry on top of the cake. It's not super super important to um, buy this business first because it's not going to make you much profit if you don't have the other businesses up and running. So you'll make around $41,000 per hour and that's without taking Tony's 10% cut out at the end. So $41,000 doesn't seem like a lot of money per hour in real life time. But when you think about it in the long run, when it's passive income and you don't have to do anything once it's set up, it's worth a lot of money, especially if you learn how to AFK. You can actually AFK using your security system or your TV. I'm not going to show you guys how to do that, but it's something that a lot of players do. And this is super super, super valuable and you can leave your Xbox or your PlayStation or PC on all night long and accrue all of this money. So by the time you go to sleep and leave your Xbox or PlayStation on and then go to school or go to work and come back, you'll have quite a bit of money waiting for you. You'll make about a million dollars a day if you do use this AFK method just using the nightclub alone. So one of the last things we want to talk about here is that the vehicles that you deliver with can be upgraded. So once you go to your vehicle basement your first level basement you'll see your van there and you can actually go in there add armored plating add engine upgrades brakes turbo all that fun stuff including landmines and you can add weapons such as your proximity mines and you can add a remote minigun on the top of this vehicle this vehicle doesn't get used as much as it used to as I did actually upgrade to the custom mule but this vehicle is super nice when you do use it make sure you upgrade the speed and the armor on it as a priority as getting places quick is super important if you have players in your lobby. If you do use NAT type lobbies or solo public lobbies, then you don't have to worry about this so much, but it's super nice to have all these upgrades to protect your investment. So the mule custom is really cool because you actually can have missiles on the front of it as well as the landmines in the back. So people that come to the front or the back of the vehicle will be put in harm's way, obviously, as well as there is a grenade launcher that you can get installed on the top for your teammates to utilize when they are helping defend you. You'll have to purchase the mule custom separately if you do decide to want to deliver in this vehicle. Doesn't cost that much, I think it's around $40,000 and then you'll have to add the upgrades to it which racks up the price pretty quickly. So it's not something you need right away but it's something I do recommend for players that will be playing in the long run. 
And lastly, but certainly not least, you will ha you will be able to buy the Terabyte once you have the nightclub. The Terabyte is stored in the nightclub, so a lot of players don't realize this and want to get the Mark II Oppressor. And to get the Mark II Oppressor, you need to have a Terabyte. So to have the Oppressor in reality, you need to own the nightclub, then the Terabyte, then the Oppressor um, if you want the rockets on there. Of course, you could just buy the uh, Mark II Oppressor straight out, but that would be useless without the rockets in my opinion. So just know that now you can buy and store and upgrade the terabyte in the nightclub and then proceed to buy the mark II oppressor as a reward for investing in this business so hopefully this video helps you guys understand how to run the nightclub effectively if you liked the video or found this video helpful please leave a like comment and subscribe and as always thanks for watching